Do you see you guys did Shadows of Doubt last week? How did that yep. go? Yep. Uh, uh, we, we tackled it in perhaps the most boring way possible, and we got a little dinged for that, but people seem to like the game on the whole. Did we get dinged for it? Uh, dinged in the sense that, did you not see that comment where someone's like, Chris is totally wrong, this is not how you play the game. You play the game by grabbing a knife the first thing you do, and then stabbing your landlord, and then killing your I way mean, to the top of whoever did the murder. Oh, that's... No, that's that's insane. You can't literally can't do that. Yeah, that was no. that was a shit pose. Yeah, there's 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 no way to use lethal force in this game. There are actually like knives and guns in the game, but you cannot use them. You can only like the the most dangerous thing you can use is a truncheon. I've never even done that. I just I just hide. I just hide and sneak. Well, I'm playing a real piece of shit, so I do use the truncheon when I do arrests. Oh my god, you knock them out and then put them in handcuffs. Yeah, I mean that's that's how you do it. I didn't realize how arresting people works. I thought like you had to actually take them down to City Hall. So the first oh, no. time I arrested someone, I broke into their apartment, confirmed that they were uh, the the killer, and they were asleep in the bedroom. <laughs> so I put them in handcuffs. And then I was like, okay, now what? They woke up, but they weren't, like, coming with me. So I was like, do I have to, like, knock them out? So I started just beating this person up with my, oh my fists. God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this person wakes up in the middle of the night in handcuffs <laughs> with a stranger going, you're the murderer, and I'm just hitting them with a trench. They did commit a homicide. Uh, all right. Well, that's a bliv. <laughs> We all ready to go? All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What are we doing? Okay. Excellent. It's been almost a month since we've done this. Do uh, are we, we still were? inside the gate, or have we closed the gate? No, we're, we are currently inside Sean Bean. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Wait, what? Literally, physically, Hello. we no-clipped into him. Ah! Hey, what's oh, up, ah. Martin? Oh. I don't want to actually steal your stuff. What do you think you were doing? I, I, I guess he didn't like that, but didn't care that much about it. What's up? I need some time to study the Mysterium Zone. It's been a month, dude. What, what more time do you need? If I ever get bugged by anybody about anything, I'm just gonna tell them that I need some time to study the Mysterium Zarxes. <laughs> All right. Um, what the fuck were we doing in this video game? Martin has asked me to speak to Joffrey about Mythic Dawn agents spying on Cloud Ruler Temple. Oh no. Where the fuck is Joffrey? Is he just hanging out in the courtyard? Hail. Can we start calling Joffrey Jeff? Ah. <laughs> can, I, can I get any support for this measure? I hope Martin knows what he's doing Yo, with Jeff. that evil book. I fear for what it could do to him if he's not careful. Spies. Ah yes, I hope you can help. The gate guards have reported seeing strangers on the road for the past several nights. I cannot leave Cloud Ruler undefended while my men search the whole mountainside, but these spies must be eliminated. What the fuck is a Cloud Ruler? Cloud Ruler I, Temple I, I, is the no, name of the temple. Yeah, I know, but no, that's a legitimate question. What the oh, fuck is Cloud yeah, Ruler? Why is it called you that? He has seen them. Who would name Captain a temple Bird that? May exactly. also be able to help. Maybe it's is just it like, like in the clouds that it rules? Keep an eye out for strangers. I mean, it's just like the temple the itself is in the cloud, and it's a temple that rulers are associated with. I'm counting on you. I'm fucking I mean, checking this, the we USB are up on this one. Is that like a 50-50 on them like actually having an explanation? Yeah. Like you name your temple something ruler, like forest ruler, it's a temple. So, need to go uh, talk to Captain Bird. If there is the a canonical explanation, Jeff, I've ever seen. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, I think that the developers made a mistake, and I'm submitting a bug report right now. But for some reason, it's kind of slow loading the like bug reporter for TES4 Oblivion. How do you spell Jeffrey that incorrectly? When you've eliminated those spies, there's no telling what. They're like, it has Captain to be fantasy. Stephen. This is a fantasy game. Spelled Jeff, but in a weird way. At dusk. <laughs> what if they did just, just the writer did just write Jeff, and then some editors changed it to Joffrey? Can't be fucking Jeff, idiot. 
but it seems that you have been if I if I was working for Bethesda uh, one of about 18 concurrent things I'd be doing to see if I could get fired would be to see how many like boring Monday names I could slip through into the game <laughs> is it Jeffrey or is it Joffrey they pronounce it's definitely it Joffrey. 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 Why is there no O? Oh, okay, so that just short circuited the other thing. You know, I do wonder in retrospect if, like. Hang on. Let me look up if Joffrey's a real ass name and we are all stupid first. No, I'm well, not stupid. Is, is even if it name? is a real name. Like, Joffrey's Coffee is a thing. That's what yeah, they're oh. like a. It, that's with an O. It's spelled like J O F F. I I have typed in Joffrey into my Google search results, and it only gives me Elder Scrolls. So I've decided that that is that is correct. <laughs> so as as all good spies do, this person immediately flipped out the second we showed up and tried to murder us. How do we know their name, Gerald? Gerald. Basement How do you key. spell that? Oh god. Gerald? Gerald? G Gerald. No. Gerald. <laughs> Jeff and Gerald. Gerald. Oh, hey. My name is Gerald. Oh no, Savvy. Savvy. Are you okay? She's fine. Savvy farm. <laughs> Here at Savory Farms, we use only the finest <laughs> <laughs> Jeffries. <laughs> uh, if you come across an assassin called Impossible Meat, then we're really in trouble. <laughs> Impossible Meat would be a really good like name for a hitman. <laughs> oh no, we've been betrayed by Beyond Burger. <laughs> I'm being beat by Impossible Meat. <laughs> yeah, but you're impossible meat, you cannot fucking stop him. How did he get so huge? It's not- it's not conceivable! Stand back, ladies, there's enough impossible meat for everybody. <laughs> oh my god. You know, if you want a more subtle version of that joke, you could have like a big badass character named Satan, like the vegetarian meat replacement option. Uh, I forget that exists. What is it? I'm Captain Bird, commander of the Bruma Guard. I was thinking Beyond Burger, but Burger is spelled like the the social class. B u r g h e r. But then how do you make Beyond not sci zero, sound sci-fi and make it sound, I don't know, like, ye old, ye old Beyond? Right <laughs> I think you did it. Ye old Beyond. To keep a sharp eye out. Ye, ye old I Beyond Burger. <laughs> what about you? Turned up anything Pay off the burger. God's blood. So she was the spy? God's blood. Seems there's no one you can trust these days. Since you're working with Cloud Ruler Temple, I'm going to authorize you to... I, I do enjoy the deeply inconsistent approach to archaic speech in Elder Scrolls games, where it really is just a matter of, like, what... It, it, this era particularly, where it is just a matter of what any given writer feels is about right at a given time. I'm down with yeah. that, to be honest. I'm done talking... It's better than the Final Fantasy MMO, where it's like, You is thou! Understandeth thee, meeth, ieth, youeth. <laughs> I also wonder if that's a localization thing or. But the quest is called like Margaritaville in fucking Cloudland. <laughs> Hello, I need to sell you Pleasure things. To oh, wait, hang on. I was just I thinking, like, oh man, this is. I, I feel like this was at its worst in Battlespire, where it was just like a really aggressive spectrum from definitely trying to be old timey English to like. In, it sounds like a dude at the gaming store who's trying to actively make fun of your D and D campaign. There was a. Was... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. 
I mean, just to finish that up, like, and then I'm like, I literally cap this off by fighting some quotes from the game, and then I'm like, why would I think anyone on the internet has recorded any quotes from the Elder Scrolls Pal Spire? <laughs> um, there was a joke going around in the Dragon Age Twitter, <laughs> where it was like, on one hand, you have a line that says, pray that I uh, succeed because I've seen the seed of God and it is empty, and then the other side is, Hawk stepped in the poopy. Bye. <laughs> okay, this is the only quote from the Elder Scrolls Battle Spire I can find, and I detest it. I hear you are quite the little fireball. They say for us to capture you alive. I tend to get excited in a fight, so please remind me about the alive part if I seem to get too excited. Hey, I would slowly hey. walk away if any adult said yes. that to me. In any scenario, I'm listening. I, I would find a way to get be, out of there. I'm so you'd be well advised because the Elder Scrolls Battle Spire is the game where I accidentally had sex with a spider, Deidre. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's clicking through a conversation because I'm like, yeah, just get to the fight already, and I accidentally picked the option where we don't fight but instead have sex. We've all been there for sure. Except it bugged out. It didn't give me the items, so then I actually had to fight them also. <laughs> Which had to be incredibly <laughs> awkward. I mean, you know, spiders, they sometimes, you know, eat their mate. So that's not... I, 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 uh, by the way, I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Uh, th that anecdote may have given you the impression, watching this video, that the Elder Scrolls Battle Spire is cooler than it is. No, it uh, is not. <laughs> Do not make the mistake. Josh I'll tell you one thing for Spider Man free. right now. Fucking yep, jumping from <laughs> building to building. Okay, web to steal your watermelon and leaks. I would actually say that the Elder Scrolls Battle Spire maybe have been one of the least aggressively fun games to play in terms of actual mechanics of anything I've completed. Certainly anything I've completed, actually. That that's that that don't I think that goes without saying. I don't think I have ever I can't conceive of any reason I would have ever finished a video game that played worse than Battle Spire did. Why did you finish Battle Spire for that matter? I was doing well, two reasons. One is for historical context, and actually two is because nobody else had. Three is because I have a very perverse relationship with playing video games. And four is because I was doing a let's play. Okay, that that's where it is. There it is. Blah 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 blah. Lord Dagu. When we're playing the we plan very to bad... open a great gate in the open ground before Bruma as soon as possible. What's going on? Oh, I see. They're they're going to open some gates. Whomsoever finds it. Because that's the it. thing that everyone. <laughs> Recently, when I was playing uh, Betrayal Baldur's Gate, which is a hilariously mid version of a board game Betrayal at House on Haunted Hill, there was a random event where when we walked into a trash strewn back alleyway, just like this strange, extremely charismatic man came out and just gestured, like, look at my wares. It's just like it happened to correspond that event happened in, like, the garbage alleyway. So it's like the very handsome trash man comes to show you his trash. And someone there said, that's basically how I think about you. <laughs> to me. What did he have, though? Like, what did, did he have some Robin A? Uh, it was a Wand of Wonder, actually. Oh, okay. What did, if what I remember did it correctly. do? What is a uh, wand random wand? bullshit. Or no, it wasn't a wet uh, one wonder, it was a deck of many things. Um, uh, okay. it, it did nothing good to me. I'll, I can remember that one for free. You, you didn't <laughs> save scum? The, the funny thing about Betrayal at Baldur's Gate is it's Dungeons and Dragons themed, so you're playing like a Dungeons and Dragons type character with a class, like, at least aesthetically, right? 
And like aesthetically, it's Dungeons Dragons themed, but they basically just took Betrayal and House on Haunted Hill, and instead of it being a haunted house where spooky stuff is happening in various rooms, they just made it the town of Baldur's Gate, where wacky, wild, totally unrelated, a non-correlated by genre stuff is happening to you in every square five feet of the town, where everyone in your party <laughs> sets off in an opposite direction, and where you're just finding all of these um... god-tier magical items in random piles of garbage. And it's like the funniest game I've ever played. Did this game just fucking freeze in a loading screen? Oh god, I hope so. Uh -oh. Of all the ways this game has crashed, it's actually never done this to me before. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Maybe this is really draining to load all 45 megabytes of this town area. <laughs> Do you ever think about no, how we're going fucked into up the wilderness. it is? This is at least 60. That there's a haunting of Hill House, which is the original, but then there's a bunch of like haunting of or haunting on haunting hill or house on haunting hill. Like okay, house on haunted Pick hill, one. betrayal at house on haunted hill. Pick one. So many, and then there's remakes of all of these. All of them, and one of them like has a giant like axe that like cut Owen Wilson in half, if I remember correctly. Is that the one with Jeffrey Rush? Yes, it is, and it opens so. with the Incredible Hulk from uh, Islands of Adventure at Universal. Ooh, oh my god, that's... that is the Incredible Hulk from Islands of Adventure! God damn, like... I, you... we, we, we've lost. accidentally so stumbled into one of my hyperfixations in the, the middle of this loading Wait, screen the movie's crash. your hyperfixation, or the amusement no, park just, is your hyperfixation? No, just ways in which Universal Studios have been used in film. I, I, don't get okay. me started, we need to fix the crash. Because I'll, I'll talk about <laughs> Roundhouse sorry. and I'm all sorry. that and Action Man. Okay, well. Go look up Action Man if you know anything. I think someone, I think someone could probably like, like Sherlock Holmes could probably work out what we both had for breakfast this morning based solely on the fact that we both recognize the Incredible Hulk ride in their remake of the Trump <laughs> House on Haunted Hill. I can't get my mouse back in order to go to fucking task manager and kill Oblivion. Oblivion ate your mouse? Jesus. Yes. Is it, is it time for the hard okay. restart? No, I've... I've... I had to manage to get the cursor, the, the text cursor over to fucking task manager, but I did it and did it. Yeah. Keyboard. Okay, let's try that again. I wonder how much we've uh, uh, we lost here. I'd Aww. make a joke about using this as an excuse to play more Shadows of Doubt, but I think it takes about as long. <laughs> I think it takes about one spoiler warning episode to load Shadows of Doubt. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay, we're here. Okay, down to the basement, we're gonna find this, take this, take that, That was a rat before, but okay. It's mud crabs now. Why are there mud crabs here? What is Shutter Island or Sweeney Todd good movies? Oh, wow. That's actually a really good question. I feel like I liked Shutter Island, but I also really like Mark Ruffalo. So... I, I enjoyed watching Shutter Island. I was that wasn't even but afterwards I'm not sure like I'm not sure like I re I felt the need to save my memory of Shutter Island. No, it it was very much like a horror book that you read on the porch at like a cabin and then you just forget about for the rest of your life. Yeah. Loading area. What is going on? Whereas, like I I feel like you could plot my emotional maturity as a human being by how I rate the Sweeney Todd film 
versus how I wrote, rate the, like, version with Angela Lansbury that I saw in theater class in high school. <laughs> Where it, it's definitely, uh, <sighs> like, swung more towards Angela Lansbury over the years. When I was in high school, there were theater kids, and I was one of them. But then there was, like, a subset of theater kids that were super annoying that I hated. And those theater kids love Sweeney Todd, so I fucking hate Sweeney Todd. Like, they, do they love the movie? They love the musical. And I remember, like, um, listening to the musical and going, this sucks. This sucks. This isn't good. I would. It's definitely not great. I think that that is... I, I, I cannot be dissuaded from that point. I think that it is not a great musical. I think that it is probably when performed well. Yeah, I don't know. Wouldn't you say it's annoying? I mean, I guess if you go in expecting it, it's not annoying. But I feel like if you just, if you pulled it up on Spotify right now, it'd be like really fucking annoying. There's definitely songs I really like from Sweet Todd. Um, I, what have you th there's a few song? in particular that like, Excellent. are earworms in the sense of being annoying, but also you. good. <laughs> The gods did not idly uh, choose you as their agent. The the the, the shave the face one is probably is clear that one of the most be like annoying and catchy ones. I will oh warn the countess oh of the danger. God. You should speak to Martin. I believe he has made I mean, some I guess you could say that Little Shop of Horrors Archie. is annoying in its own way, but to me, if I was little told I get to go see ass. Little Shop of Horrors, I'm gonna be like, fuck yes, let's fucking rock. Paradise. But Zuck's is mentions four items. Like where's the line? Ritual. You know? Where's it's the like line in musical little, theater? One of little Shop of Horrors and but Sweeney Todd both like really hardcore commit to fact, honestly quite cheesy things. Ernest, but, yes. Yes. But I, I think the difference is that Little Shop of Horrors has a little bit more of like a humanistic angle to it versus Sweeney Todd, which is much more of like kind of a gothic like vibes. The only and like, way to ooh, a Daedric artifact isn't this fun? Is hey, God, it's, it's the Daedric Lords. That's definitely why I think I like the sort of theater version more as I get older, because I feel like it was less edge lordy and more just kind of like self-aware. Like it's it's kind of like a more Edward Gorey kind of than hot topic. Or Tim Burton. It's less Tim Burton, yeah. basically. Yeah. The Mysterium Zarks yeah. is both the gate. And the key to Cameron's. So, are you two so, too young to have. Oh, okay, go ahead, Josh. The book is. Um, we need to now obtain a Daedric artifact. When he Where are you? Are you streaming? Using and then. So, not oh. Speak of further. Sir. Where I'm right, I forgot that when I blew up Oblivion, it stopped the stream for you guys. So you have no idea what's going on. Yeah, we were just streaming. No, that's why we were talking. I believe it can be done. Uh, like continue working. Four minutes. Jesus Christ! I guess we gotta keep that in then. We gotta keep this way you talk shit in. I thought that was that was just you guys doing what you normally do, which is to just kind of go off on things on Twitter, and I want to ask people about. Um. Unfortunately, I will actually need to quit the game again in order to start streaming because if I hold tab, it will just explode. You've got to be fucking so, kidding me. So give me a minute. The next section of the Mysterium Xarxes is very difficult. I haven't deciphered the rest of the ritual yet.